my day started out here with my usual protein coffee. Once you go protein cold brew coffee, you just can't go back. I struggled with this when I was in Orlando. We've got a couple things on the to-do list today. First of which was unexpected, and that is the next Buff Bunny collection launch is coming. I can't give you guys the details yet, but basically how it works is they send out an athlete affiliate PDF, which I'll go through. I get to select, like kind of choose what my top picks are for what I would like to be sent, let them know any pieces I don't want, colors I don't want, etc. So I've got to get that email sent back to the team ASAP so that they can get my package out ASAP so that I can uh, get this review going before vacay, hopefully. Oh, you Guys, this next launch is really, really good. I'm really excited for this one and it's making it very, very hard to choose what six to eight items I wanna request and prioritize. And you may just think it's a simple little task asking for your items, but I'm very strategic about this. So I really look through the PDF. I kind of study, collect the most different pieces overall. If there's new colors launching, I often request new colors. So I don't just go in there and request the items that I want. I try to be really strategic about the whole process because I think about the video and just wanting to give you guys the best review. And this little man is such a lover today, aren't you, JJ? Guess who's 11 months old today? Mm -hmm. Justice is. One more month till his birthday. And he shares a birthday with my sister. Sometimes I get Jason's opinion too, cause it just gives me a different set of eyes. You know what I'm saying? What is up friends and welcome to the vlog. Welcome back to the Driven series. I hope you all are enjoying the series. We're kind of winding down. We're getting towards the end. Jason and I go on vacation in less than two weeks now. I thought for today's video, I would just take you through a day in the life. I haven't really done this much throughout the series. And I haven't really done it in a while on this channel just because I never know if you all really want to see that kind of content or not. So if you do enjoy that kind of content, be sure to like this video and let me know in the comments. It does help me out so that I know what types of videos to make for you all. But it is Sunday here, very busy day for me, and I got a lot of different things to work on just at the house and show you a day in the life here in the Cory households. I am first gonna get started with hopping in a quick shower. Washed my hair yesterday because it's always a deal. I try to wash my hair only once a week because it's just time consuming and I know you ladies feel me. So I just need a nice hot shower to get warmed up and dressed for the day. Even though I'm not really probably going anywhere, I just feel like sometimes if I shower, put on a little makeup, just kind of get myself a little bit together. I sometimes am more productive or just in a better mindset than if I just schlep around all day in my jams or my workout clothes. So that's what we're gonna do right now. That way we can be productive, be productive. Jason's computer room here, his office. Jay got me all set up because he's genius over here. You can do this thing where you link your phone to Windows on the computer. So with knowing there's another Buff Bunny. Hey, come on guys, you're ruining this for me. Stop. Lay down, both of you. Find a spot, lay down, lay down. That's not laying down, lay down. Good boy, Justice. Bruce, lay down. You wanna be in here? You're gonna be calm. Any whoozle with knowing there's a Buff Bunny launch coming up very soon. I still need to respond to all my DMs from the Undead collection. So if you did not know, uh, DMs, emails I go through, I respond to each and every one of you in effort to get your email or get your handle name, enter you into my giveaway. So that is priority I'm going through right now. Linked it to my phone, which is really cool because then you can just like literally pull up the app as you see it on your phone. So that's really helpful because sometimes messages like this, if you just open them up through Instagram, 
uh, Rachel Goldham, thank you for your support on the last launch. So you can pull it up just like that, respond. It saves my little wrists so that I don't kill myself on my heavy old phone. Uh, I'm timing myself just because I'm curious how long this is gonna take me. I've responded to some people, but not a lot. I'm usually like right in my DMs, but because I traveled to Orlando last week, and I did vlog if you wanna check out that video. Wow, that was literally one of the most stressful events getting to the airport that I've ever encountered. I'm like a little shake. I was not on my phone much. I really have not been on my phone much at all. So, priority number one, answering each and every one of your DMs, seeing what you bought, which I love, it's so much fun, and responding to all of you, getting you entered for the giveaway. Dogs are gonna stay chill, because that's what I told them to do, and that's good leadership and good training right there. All right, we are a little bit over an hour into answering DMs. I feel like the computer is definitely the speediest way to do this. Instagram's weird though, like sometimes it doesn't show all your messages, so like you have to answer a certain amount of messages and then more more pop up. So it's kind of tricking me like I've gotten very far, but I don't think I have. I need a little snack break and this is truly just like a little tiny snack, something to wet the whistle. This is by the brand Wyman's. They had these at the Food and Nutrition Expo I went to. I tried it and it was delightful. It is just frozen fruit, so it could be kind of pricey for you. Um, it's just in like a little container like this. So you go ahead, you just squeeze it or tap it to loosen things up. It's truly just wild blueberries, strawberries, and banana bites. Okay. The little banana, oop, banana bites are the little white pieces. So it's just like a little nice frozen treat. Um, I'm weird and cold stuff. I don't do well with on my teeth. <laughs> So I'm gonna eat it quite slowly, but it's just refreshing, a little snack, a little easy way to get some fruit in. So I'm gonna snack on this while I keep plugging away through these DMs here, which I am not gonna complain about. This just means I got all kinds of support this launch and I really appreciate it, you guys. JJ just got up because he wants some fruit and he can't have any. You can't have any, dude been three hours. I think I'm winding down on DMs and I need a snack. I actually need a full meal, but I'm going to snack until I make my meal. wanted to share it with you because I don't know if a lot of people ever eat dates. I got this big bag of the pitted dates. They do have a pit to them, so I prefer to get the pitted ones. Good source of carbohydrates, uh, 34 carbs, 4 grams of fiber, all natural occurring sugar. There's no sugar added to these. So three pieces is a serving. What I like to do is I'm usually good with a few. I prefer these with almond butter, but I don't have any. So I'm still working on this giant thing of peanut butter that I also have. So I like to just split them open like so. She did Split them open and just add like Little this bit of peanut butter or almond butter in there. You could also add like chocolate chips or something. If you're feeling fancy, which I'm not, I'm feeling lazy and hungry and just need energy. So there you go. It's just like a quick little sweet snack, something to hit the sweet tooth. And also gives you four grams of fiber. So not bad. Plus the fiber in the peanut butter as well. So I'm gonna snack on this and figure out what to eat. It's now like 2.30 in the afternoon. So the day is slipping away from me as it usually does, but that's okay. Ate my dates, whaled a bunch of pineapple and now I'm eating just a very simple meal. I have some fresh tuna that I cooked up in the air fryer. If you have not tried fish in the air fryer, 10 out of 10 recommend cooked it at 400 for nine minutes. So it is cooked all the way through. And then I have some jasmine rice with it. No veggies because we're basically out of veggies from what I can see in our fridge. So may actually have to make a trip out to the store later if I can 
I can muster up the energy. Uh, additionally, nothing related to anything Driven related, but if you didn't know, Blink-182 is going back on tour. The band is back together. Tom DeLonge is back in the band. I'm very excited about this. I want to get tickets. There's nothing coming locally where Jay and I live, so it's probably gonna be a girls concert trip. If I can score the tickets, probably New York City is gonna be the closest bet. They had a pre-sale and literally sold out of like all of the tickets. Let me know down below if you were into that type of music or not. I actually, I'm one of those people where I feel like I, I'm the true fan because I started listening to them before they were popular. I watched this TV show on MTV, I remember late at night in my bedroom and they played a song from Dude Ranch and it wasn't even their main single from Dude Ranch but I remember thinking that's a really cool band I'm gonna write down their name and then once they started coming out with um, albums I feel like they got really popular with Enema of the State because of American Pie and that's where they got really trendy and popular but I loved them before then so um, yeah I just really want to go see them in concert now that they have Tom DeLonge back in the band. I did see them when they had the guy from Alkaline Trio because they played locally. And it was okay, but it was like a little weird because I just feel like Tom DeLonge's voice is so distinct. And was I love it. Like it back in the day when you go to Warp Tour? Warp Tour days, man. When you'd leave, we'd always go to Warp Tour in Montreal and we'd leave. And like, remember we'd blow our nose? And there'd be like be dirt. dirt. It would literally be like black coming out of your nose. You'd feel like you'd want to die. This is before we had Google. We were broke before, as shit too. Before smartphones. Before Google, so we always got lost. Map Quest and oh my god. Yeah, we'd go to Montreal. We, we'd and drive like four could, hours out of the way. We could never make it home from Montreal back to Messina, New York. Like we're just it, dumb kids. We were just silly. We're still dumb. just dumb kids. We kind of are, but we're a little better with directions thanks to the amazing invention of smartphones and GPS and all that good stuff. But yeah, so anyways, I'm trying to score tickets. I think it'd be super sick to go see them at Madison Square Garden, and tickets look to be a bit more expensive there too, so that's kind of the thing. I'm not I'm not about to spend $500 on a ticket, nor are anyone else I'm going with, so pre-sale happens tomorrow, so we'll see. If you guys have any other uh, tips, let me know. It'll probably be too late by the time this video gets posted, but just manifesting. Um, concerts just do something so good for my soul. Jay and I went to see Machine Gun Kelly this summer and it was fucking incredible. Want to go see them again live. It was so, so good. Travis Barker didn't, wasn't with him when he came here, but also recommend. I'm still into the same kind of music I was as a kid. And what was that sound you told him? What song? The Blake sound. Oh, I don't even remember the name of the song anymore. Does that, yourself, does that negate me? Actually, and that wasn't their first album. Their first album was Cheshire Cat, yeah. and they had a different drummer, if you knew that, before Travis Barker. His name was Scott Rayner? I could have totally made that up, but I'm pretty sure that was his name. And uh, yeah, so I originally had a poster of like the original band, and then Travis Barker came in after Dude Ranch. Travis Barker was not part of Dude Ranch. So yeah, I'll try to figure out what the song was they played. I, ca I can't remember song names. I'm old, guys. That was a long time ago. The purpose of the club is to tell you I'm about to eat my, my little lunch here. Wow, we are already five weeks into my six week cut. We don't have much time left here for the series or this cut. So I wanted to quickly summarize this past week and where I'm at today. Many of you realize I traveled to Orlando. I've had quite a few busy weeks back to back between work, personal life, Buff Bunny collection, and then I flew out to Orlando, was gone for four days. So that was a big portion of what impacted, I feel like, my results this past week. Training, honestly, has been going fantastic. I'm really proud of myself despite everything I've had going on. I'm still maintaining five four to five lifting sessions. I think I actually did four this past week with traveling, um, but I've still been getting in my lifting sessions. Since I went down one session this past week, I kind of combined a few things and instead of making it a super long workout, I just kept it moving and did a lot of supersets. And that change up of style was actually really nice. So I didn't mind adjusting that a bit. Had a great hotel gym I worked out in. Cardio has been through the roof this past week, which has been a good thing. And it's also caused me to 
um, struggle, I think, with a little fatigue and extra hunger. So my steps were bananas, going to Orlando, walking everywhere, not only through the airport, but also even though we stayed at the host hotel for the conference, it was still a full mile walking to the conference, like the convention center where we were connected was really close, but we were on like the back side of the convention center where we had to go to. So it didn't matter what we did, everything was a hike. And then in the evening, Aaron and I just wanted to capitalize on our time. And we went to Disney, uh, downtown Disney one night, and then we did the parks another night. So this is the most steps in a week I have ever gotten that I know of since tracking steps which is a good thing to keep note of because it also impacted how I felt this week. So sleep was not pretty. It was the worst week of sleep I had. So most activity, least amount of sleep. So that is a kind of a recipe for disaster, right? Which is where tracking is nice because it made me aware of things and not kind of question myself. So being that sleep wasn't as good this week, activity was through the roof. As I mentioned, my hunger, it was, she was also through the roof. And I was on my shark week this past week. If you watched my Orlando vlog, go back and watch that video. I provide more details as to how I handled my diet while I was down there, but I certainly chose to have more of an intuitive eating week for the most part and just didn't stress it and got back to tracking my macros just like two or three days ago, quite honestly. So um, I was very, very hungry. I haven't felt this kind of hunger in a while, which I didn't really adjust anything with my macros to account for that additional hunger, leading me to believe it was a, a combo of the lack of sleep and the super high uh, physical active, physically active week that I had that I'm not used to. So, um, in a way, it was a really nice change to be so active for the week, but I also wanted to make sure I wasn't just grinding myself into the ground where I just got to a place of burnout I couldn't recover from. So there's like a level of you're tired, you're fatigued, maybe you need to pull back a bit, and then there's continuing to grind and grind and grind where you are just compromising your internal health, you're possibly gonna get sick. You just run the risk of a lot of different things. And for me, as much as people think you can't be pro weight loss as well as health, I am both. I am not anti-weight loss and I am pro health and maintaining that focus on my internal health and just overall happiness and quality of life. So I hope you all see this from these kinds of videos. I'm not a robot and I'm not a grind through whatever kind of person. There's a time and a place for that and this is not that kind of place right now. So hey, I think I did a good job with just being realistic and eating what I needed to this past week and pulling back where I needed to. So for instance, this weekend, um, uh, today in particular, um, you see kind of more of a day around the house for me, not really leaving the house today. I'm not even gonna worry about my steps today. I didn't do any planned cardio yesterday. And I'm not going to today either because I really wanna make sure that with this last week of my cut and going into vacation that I maintain my health. If I don't have my health and if I don't feel good, then vacation is not gonna matter. It's, it's not gonna matter what I weigh on the scale. It doesn't matter what I weigh on the scale. I need to feel good. So it's that level of pushing through, but also still feeling good. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, so in terms of physique check-in and body weight check-in, I really haven't, I've only been weighing in about once a week. So I kind of gave you a comparison from the data that I have thus far, which does show it looks like I'm kind of down on my overall average. I may do daily weigh-ins this last week just to give you all a better um, example of kind of where things are falling for my final check-in that will come for you next week. Uh, but I'm really pleased. Like I'm really, really pleased with how I handled vacation. I'm at a place in my life where this kind of stuff doesn't stress me. So if you are someone that gets super stressed out about your eating choices, whether or not you're in a cut, 
many people aren't in a cut and they still get stressed out when they're gonna go into social situations or travel or hang out with your friends. You should not have to feel that way. You should not have to feel stressed out about traveling and eating. And that's not to say that certain people don't medically require certain specifications that do make it challenging. That's not what I'm saying, but just for the average person to feel very stressed and anxious about traveling due to food, there is, there's a lot of things that can be done to better support you to feel more free and able to trust your body during those types of outings. So I am a registered dietitian. I do provide coaching services. So if that does speak to you on some kind of level, feel free to reach out to myself, or I highly suggest you working with a dietitian or seek that kind of help if you are someone struggling with those circumstances. And that's why I do like to share my travel type videos. And Jason and I will have some videos in Orlando for what we do there. Uh, I just just, I'm a firm believer that you should be able to enjoy yourself and I think I can show you that it does not mean that you totally derail progress. Your body doesn't just adjust to one day of eating or one meal of eating and go, oh my gosh, you ate, you ate way more than you're supposed to, you ate overly processed food so we're just going to lash out at you and gain a bunch of weight and, and just work against you. The body doesn't work like that. The body takes data over time, not over one meal, not over one day, over several weeks, months even, for a response to occur. So the level of panic, um, I hope you don't have that, is what I'm trying to say. So overall, really happy with where I'm at right now. I have technically a little over a week before we go on vacation and I do my final check-in for you. So if there's something you are dying to see, you must know about what I've been doing, how I've been doing it, or what I'm gonna do after this, then please be sure to leave that in the comments below. And I also wanted to let you know, um, wanted to bring in Jason to have him give you his thoughts on what I've been doing and how he thinks about all this. Have him give his thoughts. I don't know that I've necessarily asked him, although he's really good at giving me feedback as I've gone on through this progress, but I know some people feel like their partners aren't supportive and it makes it challenging when they're trying to do this kind of stuff. That's all. Why, why don't you tell the people, what? how do you think this cut's been going for me? You've seen me go through Easy. many bodybuilding preps. You've seen me do lifestyle cuts. You've seen me just try to do my thing without labeling it. How has this gone like in your Like you've been opinion? super consistent. Yeah. Which then, you've been super consistent, so it's been super easy for you. You've been extremely focused. And it just seems like your whole attitude in life has changed, like for the better. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think, sorry, the dog's giving my hip a little... I just elbowed justice on that. <laughs> Shoot. I, I do find when I'm putting in time to focus on myself, regardless of what the goal is, I do tend to have a better attitude. Mm -hmm. I think just cause it's important for me to be working on myself in one way or, or another, whether that's like an athletic goal or a career goal. Um, it just helps me like yeah. overall in life. With like you the haven't mindset. been as stressed about work. It seems like, yeah, that's helped. Um, like it just seems like your life has been way easier for you Dang just well. to manage. Yeah, for sure. I'm, and, and just like the cut has seemed super easy for you. Yeah. Like you made like a lot of changes quick. Yeah. That's or sometimes it takes different. you like a long time before mm -hmm. you actually like see results mm -hmm. for you. Um, you're sometimes a slow responder. Yeah. I kind of wonder if that's more attributed to, like I haven't been doing any yo-yoing, you know, whereas with prep, I was on and off prep for so long. Mm -hmm. It was like these drastic responses. So your body won't hold on to stuff. And so for the, like, I feel like a long time, I've really been able to maintain. Mm -hmm. In this past year, I feel like it's been the most effortless for me to maintain as an intuitive eater. Not tracking, I was not tracking until this cut, which then see like something as simple as tracking and being mindful. Yeah. And being mindful of like your steps. Yeah. Oh yeah, and tracking the steps, tracking this, like tracking all the things. It just wanted to show like, wow, just, and I, I didn't make any crazy adjustments in my food or anything I've been doing. I don't think so thus far. So just adding in that precision has, has gone a long way. Um, you've also, I've noticed, like encouraged me to pull back when I need to. Like today? Which I was not expecting. Like he's like, don't do cardio today. You need to rest. Which I'm like, oh, I don't want him to think I'm bitching out and not No, I know the I difference between do. an excuse and then the need. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And like coming into vacation, I want to make sure I... We feel good. We feel good. You know? Yeah. what? What's one pound on the scale versus 
feeling good on vacation. Exactly. Like that's kind of the the perspective I want you all to have. Like I'm weighing in, showing in weigh-ins, but at the end of the day, if it doesn't mean anything if you're not feeling good. Exactly. That's what matters the most, yep. quite honestly. So you don't run yourself down and the weather changing. It's so cold and it's so warm and it's cold, warm. Yeah, it's so. tough what we deal with with the weather here. So yeah. anything so, else? You no, proud of me? Killing it. I tell you all the time I'm proud of you. I know, but they need. I need it recorded. I'm super proud of her. <laughs> He does. He's been really supportive, really encouraging. I'm always supportive. I'm always cooking your meals and making. Oh plays. yeah, he's always doing that. That's been super helpful. I came right home from from Orlando and he like started cooking for me, so that was really nice. Yep, always do. Always do. It's very helpful. Appreciate it, Ben. All the people always ask me, "Are you wife's the addition? She got cooking all your food and stuff." And they tell you to eat. I'm like, no. <laughs> I I'm would, cooking all the food. I would if you wanted me to, but don't be like that. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. The only other thing I was going to add, uh, which you may be interested in for this final week of my cut being uh, going into week six, if you will, I am going to add in a refeed. That's something I haven't really talked about here, which one could argue maybe I kind of refed this past week being in Orlando, intuitive eating. I definitely indulged a little bit in some items, but I... I don't really feel like I had a purposeful refeed. So I want to have either one, possibly two purposeful refeeds this week. And I'm doing that in response to my level of hunger I had this previous week and just fatigue that I felt, which I'm hoping would improve by itself with just reprioritizing my sleep. I'm going to cut back on the steps a little bit and not do 130,000 this week. Um, but in addition, just to be extra safe, I want to do a refeed day, not to mention my body responds very well to carbohydrates, higher carbohydrate, lower fat. I've always responded really well to, I noticed that during prep, the last preps I did, I was doing two refeeds a week and I always responded well to those. So being that I feel like metabolically, I'm in such a better spot now. I want to incorporate probably one or two refeeds before I go to Florida. Uh, how I tend to like to do refeed uh, days for myself is I like to, it's not going to be a huge increase in calories per se. It'll probably level out to be close, maybe a little bit more, but I'm going to alter the actual ratios and consume a lot higher carbohydrate, keep protein probably about the same, and then drop down fat to kind of level out the calories and just shift it to a different macro split. I like doing that to see how my body responds, which is another reason why I'll probably do daily weigh-ins. I also like to see if it impacts my energy levels at all, either that day or the following day in terms of my workouts and just my overall satiety, mood, things like that that I've been monitoring throughout this cut. So that's my plan for the upcoming week. I am not doing anything extreme before going into vacation. In fact, I'm gonna refeed a couple times, give my body a bit more nutrition, prioritize rest and recovery this week. Uh, I had a massage last week, it was fantastic. I've been really good with just honoring my body. If I need that recovery or that little treat to my body, I have been making that a priority. So I think it's all been going really well and I'm excited to finish out this cut and head on vacation. So I hope you have been enjoying the series. I've been enjoying doing this with you guys. JJ's been enjoying it as has Bruce Wayne. And that's gonna be it, I think. <laughs> okay, JJ's telling me it's time. It's time to cut. These dogs need their mom. We need cuddles. We need to take a nap. So be sure to smash the like button before you head on out of here. It is free to subscribe to the channel, bringing you videos probably once or twice a week. We continue on doing that. And that's gonna be it, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Cuddling? What is this right now, Cuddles? <laughs>